Brothers and sisters in Christ, the time is upon us. We live in a world where darkness has gathered in force, and we, as the faithful, must stand firm in the light of Christ. In this critical moment, I come to you with a message shared by a beloved priest, Father Jim Blunt. It is a message of urgency, of protection, and of divine assistance, because we are on the verge of a spiritual battle unlike any we've seen before. This September, a demonic attack is coming, not an attack that can be seen with human eyes, but one that will shake the spiritual realm and test the faith of every believer. And in this battle, God has not left us defenseless. There is an image, one that Father Blunt has revealed to be a source of protection for us all, an image that will call down the angels of heaven to stand guard at our doors. Now, let us be clear about what is coming. The enemy is preparing to make his move, to infiltrate our lives in ways we may not yet fully understand. We are living in times when evil is no longer hiding in the shadows, but is walking openly among us. We see it in the breakdown of families, in the promotion of lies in place of truth, in the celebration of sin where righteousness should reign. Satan is not resting, he is active, and his forces are gathering strength. But there is a particular moment, a particular assault that is coming, and it is headed for us this September. The specifics of the attack, when exactly it will happen, where it will strike hardest, have not been made clear. But what has been revealed is that we must be spiritually vigilant, prepared, and protected in order to withstand what is to come. Father Blunt, a man of deep prayer and prophetic insight has shared that this image is to be placed on the doors of our homes. This is a directive for those who want to shield their households from the forces of darkness that are about to be unleashed. The image he speaks of is not just any religious icon, it is the image of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. For centuries, the Blessed Virgin Mary has been honored as a defender of the faithful, a mother who intercedes on our behalf. Her heart, pierced with sorrow, reflects her union with Christ in his suffering for the salvation of souls. And now, in this time of danger, it is her heart that will stand as our shield. Why the Immaculate Heart, you might ask? It is because Mary, through her immaculate conception and her perfect obedience to God, stands as the one who crushed the head of the serpent. From the moment she gave her fiat, her yes to God, she became a central figure in the battle between good and evil. Satan knows this, and he trembles at her name. Throughout history, she has appeared to warn us of coming dangers, at Fatima, at Lourdes, at Medjugorje, and always, her message is the same, return to her son, cling to God, and do not be afraid of the enemy. Now, as the demonic forces prepare to attack, her immaculate heart will be our refuge. When you place this image of the immaculate heart of Mary on your door, you are not just hanging a picture, you are making a statement in the spiritual realm. You are declaring that your home belongs to God, that no evil will cross the threshold, and that you have placed your trust in heaven's army to defend you. This act is a sign of faith, a sign of trust in the promises that God has made through his saints and through scripture. Just as the Israelites were commanded to mark their doorposts with the blood of the lamb during the Passover, so now we are called to mark our doors with the image of Mary's heart. In the book of Exodus, when the angel of death passed over Egypt, it spared the homes that were marked with the blood. Likewise, this image will call down the angels to stand guard at your home, ensuring that no evil spirit can enter and no harm will come to those inside. It's important that you do this with reverence and with prayer. Before you place the image on your door, take a moment to pray ask god to bless the image and to send his holy angels to surround your home use holy water a sacramental that has been given to us to protect against evil and bless the image and your house with it 
As you do this, invite the presence of the Holy Spirit to fill your home and drive out anything that is not of God. This act of faith, though simple, carries profound spiritual weight. Now, brothers and sisters, you may be wondering, why do we need this image? Isn't prayer enough? Isn't the protection of God already upon us? Yes, prayer is powerful, and yes, God is always with us. But throughout salvation history, God has given his people physical signs to accompany their faith, whether it was the Ark of the Covenant, the bronze serpent lifted in the desert, or the very cross of Christ. These physical signs are not magic, they are reminders of spiritual realities and a way for us, as physical beings, to connect more deeply with the divine. The image of the Immaculate Heart is a similar sign given to us for this particular moment in time. The demons know they cannot overpower God. They know they cannot stand against the angels who do His will. And they know they cannot stand against the one who bore God into the world, Mary. When they see the image of her heart, they will flee, just as they flee from the cross and the name of Jesus. But make no mistake, this does not mean the battle will be easy. We must still arm ourselves daily with prayer, with scripture, with the sacraments. We must remain vigilant, because the enemy is cunning and seeks to devour those who are unprepared. Do not wait until September to prepare. Do not wait for the attack to begin before you take action. Now is the time to place the image of the Immaculate Heart of Mary on your door to call down God's protection upon your home and your family. Share this message with those you love so that they too may be protected. God has given us this warning because He loves us, because He desires that we be spared from the plans of the enemy. But we must respond in faith. We must take up the spiritual weapons He has provided. There is no need to be afraid, because fear is not from God. Trust in His protection, trust in the power of the angels, trust in the intercession of our Blessed Mother. But be proactive. Do not sit idly by and hope that the storm passes. Stand up, place the image on your door, and know that the forces of heaven are on your side. This is a time for courage, for faith, and for action. May God bless you, may the Blessed Mother protect you, and may the angels guard your homes as we prepare for the days ahead. Stay strong in your faith, brothers and sisters, for the victory is already won in Christ.